Howdy, howdy. Hey, hope everybody's doing well. I didn't get week three's video up last week. I've just been really busy with work and everything else and haven't got it up uploaded yet. So this will be a combined video of week three and week four. I didn't do a lot during week three as far as activities or anything. I did build a shelf and get some pops put up and went to the grocery store, which I will show you. And then eat week four, I made some chili. Um, and I'll have my numbers from my weigh-ins. So I apologize for my ass being front and center in this video segment here. <laughs> I really, you know, did not plan that, but the way I was building the shelf, that's what was facing the camera. So I really like these shelves. They're supposed to be wall mounted, but I wasn't able to wall mount them because with the spacing on this wall, the studs weren't in the right location. So I just stacked them on top of each other. Um, and these, they have these backing boards that go in in segments, and I tried to tape them all together for this second one because they were not staying put. So I ended up leaving at least one out in both shelves just because they were so hard to get put in properly, and it was just becoming quite the task for just one person to try to get them in properly and get the bottom and top aligned and screwed together. So, um, you know, they aren't put together perfectly. Uh, it'd be easier with two people, but for just me putting them together, they did all right. Um, and for the one that's stacked on top, which will be the one I'm putting together right now in this video, I'm going to have some anchors to attach it to the wall to make sure that it doesn't tip over. And here are the final shelves with my Funko Pops put up and then some artwork up top and my bombshell cars. So that's what's going in that space. All right, good morning, YouTubes. It is Saturday morning, it's cold. I'm letting my car heat up before I go to the grocery store in Target. So, and get some Starbucks maybe. So yeah, hope you have a good day. All right, we are back from the grocery store. It's almost 10 a.m. So still got plenty of day left. So I got some ingredients to make some chili tomorrow in the crock pot. Got some ground turkey, some green peppers, onion, tomatoes, beans, some salsa in place of another can of tomatoes. I have other beans over in the pantry. Need more crock pot liners. Got some frozen veggies, some broccoli and peppers and onions. Peppers and onions to go with the sausage, the smoked sausage. 
Got some more Roto tomatoes, got some zucchini and bananas and sweet potatoes and spinach. Sun-dried tomatoes, some rice cauliflower. I was trying to find some low-calorie microwave rice. I couldn't find any, so I went with some rice cauliflower, which I also really enjoy. Got some bread. For lunch today, I decided I wanted something kind of cheesy, so I got some broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. And I needed some more K-cups, so I got some K-cups. So this will be good for a couple of weeks, probably. And at Starbucks, I grabbed me in Target a uh, soy venti latte. And can you guys believe this is only 80 calories? No, I'm just kidding. It's like 250 with the soy milk for a venti. Assuming that, you know, they fill it up. So yeah, that's the groceries for the for probably the next two weeks. So, good to go on some food, hopefully stay on track, not eat out. I haven't eaten out for over a week, I've been eating at home. I've been tempted to get some Chinese food, but I have not yet. I do really want some Chinese food though. Alright, so here are the numbers for week three. On Sunday, January 16th, 284.2. Monday, January 17th, 283 even. Tuesday, January 18th, 282 even. Wednesday, January 19th, 283.8. Thursday, January 20th, 283.8 again. Friday, January 21st, 285.4. Saturday, January 22nd, my numbers are off there on the picture, 285.2, giving us an average of 283.9, bringing us down from the previous week's average of 0.9 pounds. So this week was off a little bit, um, but I ate well the entire week. I just didn't move very much because, you know, too busy with work. But, you know, we're still, hopefully, you know, the averages keep going down. So hopefully the scale will keep going down and we'll maybe stay on track. All right, we're going to make some chili today. I thought I had chili powder. Apparently I do not. That's okay. Some paprika. Some ground cumin, some black pepper, a little bit of basil, Adding in green peppers, some onion, fresh garlic, forgot to buy some, but we've got some mints. Alright, going to add the meat to the crock pot. Normally I would have a couple different colored peppers, but I just didn't feel like chopping my own. So got the meat in there. So we're gonna add the can of some chili beans. Maybe gonna add some black beans. I like black beans in my chili. A can of diced tomatoes. I always like to add something a little different depending on the kind of chili I'm making. So we're going to add a jar of salsa instead of another can of diced tomatoes. And then we got some more spices. Okay, 
We're gonna mix that all up. Turn the crock pot on low, because I'll have this for dinner tonight. So it'll be ready in five to six hours. All right, the chili is done. I ended up putting it up on a high. So, put that down on keep warm. So we can put that in the fridge in a little while. Gonna get about two cups of chili. I've been really hungry today for some reason. I don't know why. I'm gonna do about two and a half. So. We've got some chili. I got some sesame seeds on the counter where I transferred some. Half a peanut butter sandwich made with PB2. And that's gonna be dinner. I may I may throw some crackers on there, a handful of mini crackers. So alright, that's dinner. And it'll be lunch for a few days because we have quite a bit. Good morning, it's Thursday morning and we have some flurries. So that's always lovely. Guess we'll see how the day goes. Hopefully it melts. I think it's supposed to be above like 40, 40 today, so it should melt. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning, I think. Yes, Wednesday. I haven't posted last week's video yet. I've been so busy. I'm gonna try to get that up tonight. It won't be much, but I thought maybe I might do a uh, what I ate today type video for Wednesday. So I've got breakfast here. I've got a couple of Kodiak cake. I think they're called power waffles. They're dark chocolate with a serving of PB2 spread on top. It's 300 calories total. Then some coffee. There's my Persona meds there next to it. Um, there's a sugar cube in the coffee. So I think it's about like 12 or 15 calories for that. But So I will have my breakfast keep working and um, see you at lunch. All right, it's lunchtime. Got some weird sunlight there, so. I made some turkey chili like uh, yesterday in the crock pot. So having some chili for lunch with half of a peanut butter sandwich. It's 45 calories for the Sarah Lee piece of bread. And then there's a serving of PB2. So that's 115. I don't know how many calories are in the chili. I'm gonna guess about four, 450 maybe. So about 560 for lunch maybe. I'll try to figure out a number for the chili whenever I put it into my noom. But I mean, it's ground turkey, beans, some tomatoes, onions, peppers. So, uh, so that's gonna be lunch. I usually eat while I'm working so I can finish up work a little bit earlier in the day or work later and get more work done, whichever. So, all right, that's lunch. See you for dinner. All right, we're finished working. I decided I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so we're having a factor meal. Factor. We're having a Korean tofu and veggie bowl. 130 calories, a little more calories than I wanted, but you know, we'll deal with it. And that's the nutrition information. So it's about done. So I haven't had this one before, so I don't know if it's good or not. If it's not good, I may have to cook dinner anyway. <laughs> I really hope that's spinach and not like kale, because I don't like kale. Some chili, broccoli. That is going to be dinner. I'll let you know maybe later what I thought of it. 
So that was really all I did on week four. Not a very eventful week, neither was week three. Just really busy working and doing stuff around the house, getting the main level organized so I could have new blinds installed at the beginning of February. So let's get into my numbers for week four. On Sunday, January 23rd, I weighed in at 282.6. Monday, January 24th, 282.4. January 25th, 283.6. January 26th, 283 even. The 27th, 284.8. The 28th, 283.4. The 29th, 285.4. Giving us an average for the week of 283.6 with a loss of 0.3 pounds from the average of last week. So the numbers this week towards the end were getting a little bit frustrating. Um, it could be a number of things. It could have been that I did have Chinese food Friday night, um, which, you know, has some sodium and might have had me retain a bit of water. I haven't been drinking as much water as I should, so I really need to get back on that. But, you know, down 0.3 from the average is good. I'll take it. Um, the numbers are weird throughout the week, you know, so you can see, depending on when you weigh through the week, you can feel like you're doing horrible, or you can feel like you're doing okay. It's just, I don't know. Human bodies are weird and weight loss is frustrating, but, you know, we're gonna keep plugging away at it. And we'll see you in week five. We're supposed to get some bad weather, so we'll see. So until next time, be safe and take care.